Hello everyone, Argalligator here, back in Total War Warhammer for some more custom battles. Now, as I get behind the approaching Orc line here onto the Dwarven line, and we show cannon fire being out, uh, I'm not really doing a big introduction to this battle because I am only doing it to show off the More Gore mod that has shown up on the workshop. It basically adds more gore to the Blood for the Blood God DLC, and as you can see, uh, it seems bloodstains stay on the battlefield. Uh, there's a little bit more uh, dismemberment and violent with the bodies, and uh, blood now will spill out from any attack. So, I'm basically just going to watch this chaos unfold, and this white, beautiful, snowy battlefield turn red over time. The Dwarven line has a bunch of different artillery uh, up there, they have cannons and flame cannons and thunderers. Well, thunderers really aren't artillery, but other things. And we're just going to watch these orcs get destroyed on their way up there and try to fight the dwarven line and see what happens. There are some modded units in the mix here, like these black orc berserkers and uh, some immortals, as you can probably tell. They are the black orcs with the shields. The dwarves have some as well, but that's not the important part of this. The important part of this is the carnage. The more gore that is going to increasingly cover this battlefield as we get closer. So the iron breakers on the front line are just going to throw out these blasting charges. The snowy battlefield lighting up a blaze from the combination of that, the flame cannon, and now the iron drakes burning into them. Uh, there's just so much, so much action going on right now. Uh, as it continues and the front lines of the battle start to emerge but you can already see the blood and the cinders uh, and the body parts stacking up on the battlefield as the orcs make their approach to the front lines oh my god that line just got kicked back by all those blasting charges my god there's so much fire now all over this battlefield it's insane look how bloody some of these orcs are as more charges are going out, just bodies and blood all over the place. Oh, just constantly. It's just all over the place. Bodies and bodies and blood. I keep saying the same things over, but who cares? This is awesome. It's basically what I wanted. I wanted more from the Blood for the Blood God DLC. Uh, I'm just a sick person like that, and I like a lot of crazy shit going on in my Warhammer. Watch this flame cannon sniping those orcs over there. But when it comes to Warhammer, I want violence. I want destruction. I want gore. I want... I want all of this. I like my Warhammer a dark, gritty, violent world. And this just makes it more that for me. War is not glamorous, and a game that prides itself on being focused around war I want my Warhammer to be extra violent. Oh, those approaching orcs just getting hit by flame cannons. You can see the path of dead bodies leading up to the front lines here as these orcs come back from routing to reinforce. More flame cannons going out, but missing a bit. Some hitting my lines a little bit. Some flame drake fire. You can just see just these darkened red stains everywhere. Body parts. Somebody's legs right there as the front line battle continues. A lot of things going on here. The battle all over the place. You can even see the dead bodies of dwarves and orcs from how much the line pushed back and forth along here. It's it's actually kind of cool to see uh, the leftover violence on the ground because it shows you the pathing of the battle. I think that's actually a really cool thing. So this is a good mod. This is a very good mod. It takes a little bit to set up, and there definitely are instructions on the mod page itself. Uh, but it's not its not that hard. You can just see the bodies stacked. They're like knee-high in bodies here on the front line as they're just adding up the more this fight goes on. Just everyone is blood-soaked and covered in it. More fire going out. As these orcs seem to be routing and getting out of here. I think the battle might be winding down. They seem to be backing off. I think we might get some more cannon fire. We definitely have some more flame cannons. Pushing it. Oh, that guy just got singed. 
and his arm came off, and it's gushing. Damn. Oof. That was a missed shot, but here comes another one. Oh my god, that bouncing cannonball. I think these might hit them, yeah, right into the line of these immortals. Shooting them in the back, pretty much. Another cannon fire took that guy out. They're trying to stagger out of here. Oh, Missed cannon shots. Oh, just like a bowling ball. Cutting through them. God. This... With the combination of Blood for the Blood God and this DLC, your battles will become increasingly more violent. You can see just the... The scattering of bodies and blood on the leftover battlefield here. The dwarves standing victorious, but look at this violence they've created. Just a huge... Still fighting here, some berserkers! Just the pile of bodies in front of these war clerics. Just... Oh my god. Ironbreaker's still fighting a couple berserkers. And I think the last berserker's gonna go down here. Yep. That should be it for the battle, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, that this once snowy field is dramatically different now, thanks to these two mods. Still firing into some of them, the cannons, as the last couple are leaving. But, yeah, I'll link this mod in the description below if you want to make your Warhammer even more brutal. Uh, cause you know, yeah, war's violent, war's not glamorous. Uh, and why shouldn't Warhammer... And a game called Total War reflect that. I'm Argyle Gator. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, have a good day. Go ahead and subscribe if you like the video. And if you really like this one, you should watch all the rest of my other videos. I've got all these different social media outlets that I use occasionally. You can follow them if you want to get in contact with me. Thanks everybody, and I'll see you next time.